Hello everyone, welcome back to SP3 tutorial series. In this video, we will learn how to create an horizontal drum. Okay, so we will start the video. First of all, we have to go to this plant option. After that, metric unit and click on OK. This window will appear. In this window, go to file, go to define workspace. In this, drag this and go to more. Previously, we have created this filter. We have to take this filter, click on an OK. After clicking OK, go to properties. This box will appear. In this box, first of all, take this area which we have created in previous video and take this include nested option also and click on OK. After clicking OK, press OK. okay. Now your workspace will be appear like this. We have created one equipment unit, we have created one piping unit, we have created one structure unit previously. Now what we have to do, we are making an equipment. So right click on this, a new system, new equipment system. After that, give some name. Equipment we are creating, so I am giving name equipment. This plus sign will appear under this plus sign. This equipment box will come. Okay. Now we have to create one horizontal drum. Okay. For that, what we have to do, go to this task and go to equipment and furnishing. Okay. Open your common use by clicking this option and drag this towards this side and click on this option also. Place shapes. This will open and drag this to this side also. Okay. Now in this equipment, click on this second option, place designed equipment. Okay. In this, click on this plus button. After that, click on that process plus button. In this horizontal vessel, and click on horizontal drum with saddle and click on OK. Now one dialog box will appear in this give the name of your whatever equipment we are creating. Okay. I will give D1201. Click on OK. Now click on this pinpoint option. This is the pinpoint option. And paste here value 0. Enter. 0, enter, 0, enter. By giving this value, you are uh, taking your equipment at 0, 0, 0 position. And click on screen. Now this will appear. Now, after clicking on this B1201, click on the cylindrical shape. Now here you have to give the dimension of your cylinder. Okay. Give the name. This is cylinder one. So CY1. I am giving CY1 name. Okay. Now A is the length of the cylinder. Give the length of the cylinder. I am giving this length as 4800. Okay. This is the diameter of the cylinder. Now here we have to give the diameter of cylinder. That is one four one zero. Okay. Now click on OK. Now click on this screen. Now your cylinder will appear like this. Okay. You can click on these uh, common views to check your cylinder. Okay. By pressing arrow key. In your keyboard, you can change the direction of your cylinder. Okay. Now, in this way, I am seeing like this. Okay. My cylinder is towards the north direction. So, placing your zero, zero position here at this point by pressing your arrow keys in the keyboard, 
right click on this okay now your cylinder is placed like this you have to give a dish also okay. for that click on this d1201 then again click on this option A is the diameter here. Okay. It is the dish. So I am giving D1. Okay. For A, A is the diameter of the cylinder, which is 14101. Okay. Now B is the what is the hemisphere hemisphere radius? Okay. Now it is given as 380. So we will click on this and we will click on OK. Okay. Now you can place it here also like this or you have to go to this option click on 0 and north value also 0 enter and elevation value also 0 enter okay now click on this screen with the arrow keys in your keyboard change the direction of the dish okay This is the different different views. Now we will place same dish here also. So for that also, you can copy this dish also, and you can create new one. Okay. Right now I am creating new one. Click on this D1201. Now click on this option again. Okay. These values are same. We will giving this name D2. Okay. D2 is the name. Now. Click OK. Now you have to place this. Okay. I will show how to move this also. Okay. Now I am keeping it anywhere on the screen like this. Okay. Now this is put here. We have to change the direction towards this west. South direction we have to make. So with the arrow key, change the direction. Okay. Now the direction is changed. We will go in different view. Now I will show how to move here. Okay, first click on this. This is the move button. Click on this. Now go to different view. In this view, this is the center point. When you will place at the center, this will show this yellow arrow. Okay. Now click on this. And your dish will be moved here. Okay. This is how you place your cylinder. Okay. We will continue further in new lectures. Till then, thank you.